what is going on YouTube? It's Sam from Team Sam Rex here. And today, guys, I got you guys Legendary Steven. And you guys have been begging me for the combo video, Steven. Like, they, like the comment section has been craving this combo for quite some time. And this is when you're able, you're able to put out four interruptions, right, with your deck. And uh, okay, in your opinion, like, you know, with YCS Atlanta and everything that, that happened, what do you think about, like, the top Magician decks right now? Right. Honest opinion. So basically, I don't even care if the people that like, play these saw, uh, sees this video. The list I seen at Lana and Bokum were absolute horseshit, uh, literally cringeworthy, absolute disgust. They were horrible and not how the deck has to be played. Okay. The complete opposite. And then every single sheep in the world would just follow it. That's why I don't like it. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how to play it properly. Yes. I'm going to show you guys how to put up four interruptions easily with any random hand. Random hand. Random so, hand. I'm going to literally power shuffle in front of the camera. And I guarantee you the first, like, there will be no take one, take two, take three. Just take one. I guarantee it'll happen. Okay. Because it happens to me every time. And you're, and you're going to go, uh, you know, in-depth on how to do this combo yes, perfectly? completely in-depth for you guys. Even if you have no idea how to play a deck, you just picked it up yesterday and are a scrub and puts up two two interruptions, like a classic Vortex and Abyss Dweller play. If, you, if you're one of those, watch, and I guarantee you that you will, after watching this video, I guarantee you'll be able to put up four interruptions at your locals. Okay, and uh, one more question. What are your thoughts on the FTK? The FTK, uh, it's... Obviously, it's incredibly consistent if it doesn't get, if it does not get hand trap. Well, that's a big if. Everyone knows that uh, FTKs are coming, so everyone's playing like six, eight, ten hand traps. And if you get a hand trap at the correct time, your turn ends. That's why it's horrible. But if you play, this is literally an FTK. Playing normally is an FTK. Yes. Because four interruptions is an FTK. You cannot stop it without a sphere mode. Yes. And so game one, it's auto win. And then the only way they possibly win is if they draw into sphere mode. And they have to draw in their opening six because you're negating all their draw cards with your four negates. Okay, awesome. And just a quick update, uh, you know, people are always wondering uh, for your YouTube channel. So that's yeah. on pause right now, right? Yeah, so basically uh, I decided uh, making money is more important than Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. So I decided uh, no uh, no Yu-Gi-Oh! combo channel for now. Okay. Any <laughs> any new channel we get, we're going to post a Sam's channel. Okay. And then uh, in the future, I will come up with my own channel. Okay, awesome. So Steve, without further ado... It gets super broken. Right, I so don't. The deck is just fire. Okay, so this is like guaranteed. Personal guarantee. There is no take one, take two. This is the only take. Take one. This is only take one. Take one. And then we're going to go win Ottawa Regionals right after this. <laughs> Steve, you're the best, bro. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. And I know this because Here. this always happens. Yeah, I will cut your deck too. Yes, please. Yeah, I will cut your deck. No cut is no no cutting. All right. Yeah. All right, go. Draw, draw your five, show five cards. Oh, is that, is that good? This hand, by the way, you look at this, you actually think it's a bad hand. Okay. This is what most magician players will think. But in reality, I drew an oak dragon and I drew a chronograph. So what does that mean? Well, it means I win the duel. Are you, so this is four negates? This is four negates. You're a liar. This hand is four negates. I don't even care what I draw through a lure. But I'm going to start off with the lure. So I drew into this. I'll banish the Stargazer. And I'm going to lure again. Oh, I'm going to wow. banish the Jackal. Okay, so this is your hand now. So, so now you, even, you win even more. Of course, like okay. I said at the beginning, right, regardless, trust okay, me. Okay, so this is your hand now. Yes. That way, then you just drew two banished, yes. uh, two Lords of Grave, and now, okay, let's go up with the combo and do it thoroughly so people can understand. 100%. I will do the upstart again. I play both Bashilisk and Jackal, so I don't care uh, if I draw one of them with upstart. All right. Oh, wow. So I got okay. these five. So, so, now, so if you your, look at these five, you win. Uh, you're missing one thing. You have three Electrum Turbo cards. You're missing a Wisdom Eye Magician. But, wait a second, you play three Oaf Dragon because you're smart and listen to Steven. So you have Oak Dragon and anything, which means you have a Wisdom Eye. So you're going to start with Curtain Razor. Next, you're going to use Cerberus. What are you searching? You're going to get Jackal. Get Jackal. You're going to activate Jackal to special. Okay, then, so this is in, in in your extra deck, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So this is what you got right now. Next, you're going to go into Electro. Okay, slower, Steven. So Electro is right, right here, okay? Yes. Now we're going to send Astrograph. So this is your scales? Yes. Okay, yeah, don't shuffle. We're going to shuffle. Next, Next, we're going to activate one Oaf Dragon. We're going to pop that Oaf Dragon. We're going to special the Astrograph. And then we're going to add an Oaf Dragon. Now we're going to shuffle again and draw one. Okay, so we get, the, uh, we get a, a Black Banger Wisdom off this great. If not, the next Electrum is going to send the Wisdom. Oh, all right, we got the Wisdom. Yo, Steve, yo, Steve, why are you so good, man? I'm just too good, man. What can I say? All right, next. We put these in scale. 
Yeah. Put Black Fang up there. Okay, so okay, so putting my those... apologies, boys. We're gonna do one quick thing. We're just gonna destroy Chronograph and bring out Time Geezer. The same Chronograph we started with, right? Yes. Now we're gonna go. The goal is simple: make three electrons before your pendulum summon. Okay. That's the goal. So you gotta see. Uh, you did not normal yet. Your next electron will bring out an Astrograph, which means I know in my head I can normal summon and get a third electron. So I will now go into my second electron. I will send another astrograph. You always want to have some way to have three astrographs at the end. Now we go into the Oak Wisdom. You always want Oak Wisdom, Black Fang in scales. That's it. Oak Black Fang with Wisdom uh, bringing them up. And now you're going to do not activate Oak's effect until the very end. Do not activate. Not until the very, very last oath you possibly have. Now you're going to activate Electrum's effect. You only need two Black Fang, uh, you only need two Black Fangs to resolve the, gra uh, two Black Fang Grave effects. So you could pop one Black Fang to be able to keep searching more eventually. So you can activate Electrum to pop Black Fang to Special Astrograph. Then you're going to activate Astrograph's effect to add any normal summon monster that got destroyed this turn. So we're going to add Wisdom Eye. Wait, so did you use both of these effects yet? Yes. Now, we're going to activate Wisdom and Scale. Add anything. Time Gazer Magician with Oath. Does not matter. You normal summon it now. Okay, so, okay, so, yes. so you're... You so you're gonna activate Oaf Dragon to add Time Gazer. Yes. And this is gonna use your normal summon. Yes, yes. Okay. So this is now gonna be my normal summon because the goal is to make three electrums. If you make three electrums, and believe me, you can do it extremely simply, even if you don't even even if you don't have one or two electrum turbo, as long as you have one, you could always add the uh, chrono instead of the astro and still get three electrums with wisdom flowing in the uh, in the extra deck zones. Or sorry, the pendulum zones. And if you do that, you can still do three electrum. So I just normal it. Now I go electron number three. Okay, so you're using normal something. The only thing that you didn't use is your pendulum summon. Yes. Always see the pendulum summon for after the three electrons. I have two astros, so I'm gonna send a third astro now. So the last electron will send a third astro. So what's in your extra deck so far? Like now in the extra deck is the only things you need. By design, you have three astrographs. You have a chronograph that you destroyed earlier, and you have a jackal. These are the only five you want in your extra. Plus a wisdom mine to be flowing, which is everywhere. Okay. So now we're gonna activate wisdom's effect. Now here's where it gets a little uh, smart. You're gonna activate a harmonizer. You want more. Eventually, you're gonna run out of things to search with astrograph. So you're gonna what you want to end your board with is a harmonizing just for extra things to search with. So since you're going to be merely destroying any random card with Electrum, you want to be destroying something that you did not go through your deck with already. Yeah, right side, right here. Yes, and since we remember I said destroy Black Fang earlier, you add a Black Fang because you want Black Fang to be, and you activate it. Now we go into Firewall Dragon with the middle cards. And Firewall is really important. Firewall is the most important card in the entire extra after Electro. Better than Vortex, better than Arito, better than all that. So, so you go Firewall Dragon right here? Cool. Yes. Putting Firewall over here allows you now to not worry about your hand, but save your hand and Pendulum from the extra only. So now you can only Pendulum from the extra deck. You could summon any levels you want and you could design your play then with four interruptions. So I'm now gonna special one Astrograph and to any darks, it does not matter as long as they are dark. So now this is your whole pendulum summon. Yes, now you pendulum summon. So this is your oath. Oath. Yes. Okay, black fang. Cool. Always oath black fang. And now here's where we get the four interruptions. Always, no matter what, go into a venom over here. Where? Right over here. Okay, where the electromite is. Now, by the way, if you're a normal player, you're gonna look at this and say, oh, wait a second, I could just go Absolute and Dorito and call it a day. No. But that's just three interruptions, that's horrible. Why do three when you can go do four? Not even three, bro, Firewall's not pointing anything. Exactly, but it, at the end of the combo like this, it will, plus another Jackal or Dorito, whatever you see best, depending on the deck you're facing. So anyways, you're gonna go into the Venom over here. The reason why is you're about to link away the Electro, so you wanna just uh, save the free arrow by putting it over here. Now you're going to go into the Absolute, and you're going to link the Absolute and the Electrum. You're going to link them into Underclock Taker. Okay. Now, uh, through Absolute's effect, you bring out the Vortex Dragon, and you always put the Vortex Dragon at the top. Why? Because you want to save the monster zones for Astros flowing around everywhere, and this allows you to make the four interruptions. I know a lot of people have a problem with space, 
and this is a way to create extra space. Oh shoot! So the vortex is here. This is not use its effect yet. Now you use its effect. So you pop the black thing. Oh, you get my astrograph. Yes. And by design, you have two astrographs engraved now. So those are both going to be summoned out eventually. Wait, so one astrograph is added to the hand from yes. your extra deck using yes. the Venom's effect. Yes. Right, yes. so, okay, so you activate Venom, pop yes. in your Black Fang yes. to add astrograph to the hand from the extra deck. Yes. Now, astrograph is going to trigger to yes. special itself. exactly. So it triggers. And then the Black Fang is going to trigger to bring exactly. out this one. Exactly. And then you get to add a card. And now this is where it gets a little, you got to be a little crafty. So, you know the only card left in your hand is Oaf Dragon. Yes. Uh, you're going to know this is eventually going to turn into another Venom. You're going to get another pop. But you're going to want to find a way to bring out a Jackal as a fourth interruption. So now, I'm, you're, you also need a Black Fang. You have no access to Black Fang, so you're just going to add a Black Fang. Okay, so, so two cards in hand yeah. with this broken board. Yeah. So if now you, you have no access to Black Fang, this Astrograph should always be adding Black Fang. Cool. So, so, you make, so you make another Venom. Now you make another Venom. And now you have two options. Are you, you going to special summon off Firewall Dragon? Sorry, I'm interrupting. Uh, eventually, I will. Not uh, you Night. couldn't now because nothing went to the graveyard. But Firewall special summon effect will come into play after your board is full. Because yes. you're going to link away for nothing, just to resolve its effect as many times as you want. In fact, many times uh, my hand wasn't good enough for five interruptions. Five interruptions. Yeah, I do five like extremely often to be honest. Uh, it just four, sometimes five is overextending. You have two jackals instead of one. But I'll show you guys four right now. And who knows, maybe as I keep doing it, I'll randomly be able to see five. But now you have an option. You can either pop Oak Dragon and, and add the Astro, or you could pop Black Fang and add a random card that's not Astro. But what we're going to do is we're going to pop the Oak Dragon. We're going to special the Astrograph. So, or, so you're adding Astrograph then special. Yes, exactly. So we're going to pop Oak Dragon. We're going to add Astrograph to our hand and special Astro from our hand. We can't resolve the Black Fang effect because there's no space. Right. So we're just going to activate a Pop Ove, Special Astro, and we're going to get the Jackal that we destroyed earlier this turn. Right. And you destroyed it using for service, correct? Yes. Yeah, since we destroyed it with service, you could add it. Now you're going to XYZ. For Titanic. Went to number 38. You're going to put it over here. And next, you're going to link Abusing Firewall's effect. For Trigate. Trigate. Oh my and God. Firewall's effect is going to go off. To summon Jackal. Shoot. And now, just like that, you got four interruptions. Firewall bounce. Vortex negate anything. Negate a spell. Negate a monster effect. Now, I'm going to activate one spell to give the counters to this. And if this gets destroyed, you could special out the Astrograph that's left. And next turn, they will not break this board. They will not guarantee. Per guarantee, unless they have sphere mode, which they still have at least one negate through sphere mode. And uh, next turn, you have the option as well when you when you pendulum summon to have another link randomly going beside Trigate. That way, you could have Trigate to have a banish effect as well. Okay, awesome. And you know, like a, a lot of people usually make Metatron here, but you know, it's a vortex there. Yeah, yeah. So instead of uh, that garbage uh, Metatron vortex dweller. You now have a Vortex, Harbinger, Firewall, Jackal, and it actually goes on and on. Like, like this is literally just a random hand as I showed you guys. We didn't start with Astro. We didn't even go through the best, uh, second best card in the deck, Re uh, Rescue Hamster. If you have access to Hamster, which you normally do, uh, this ends at five or like three or four extra cards ahead. Wow, okay, awesome, Steven. All right, Steven, so that's pretty Amazing. much it for your combo, right? This is, this is it, this is it. Four yeah. interruptions. Because like, usually, like, like the basic board is just like Titanic Galaxy, Vortex, and then it doesn't really, yeah, you know. Like, like the normal is literally just two interruptions, and that's so subpar. If someone plays Magician and has two interruptions against me, I'm OTKing them in five minutes tops. Uh, quick OTK. Uh, this, that's not enough. Like, two cards is nothing. Literally, uh, summon Cerebus in the gate, summon Astro in the gate. Okay, I have four cards left to OTK you with. That's okay. not enough. Okay. Even uh, True Draco can destroy two cards. Dinos can OTK you through two cards. It's not enough. Two is not, even three is not enough. Okay. I've been OTK before by putting up three interruptions. So I just went to the lab and thought of a build that will not lose, period. All Third right. Second, all you do is you bait out their board, which is going to have two or three, not four, like this one, unless they watch this video. Then you, after you do that, you save the good cards and you just Electrum, hand summon, and then clear their board afterwards. All right, awesome. Steven, thank you so much for watching. Uh, all right, Steven, thank you so much for this amazing combo video. And this is only one take, man. One take it's crazy uh if you uh, discover any more combos please let us know on team samrex one and we'll get this on as soon as possible all right any last words all i gotta say is uh shout out to uh, sam my dog shout out to my sponsors uh, uh royal club games uh, they gave me all my cards and check us out uh 48 and street all right awesome sam from team samrex I'm signing out all right guys peace i feel like in the print talk fresh
Cash game, I don't need a minute uh, R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute uh, Okay, let's proceed with it I'm in the house, got the deed with it These bozos always sneak this And they taking shots, I'ma keep with it Like, no, no, this league been it